pretty hard to believe that this is not a video of Horseshoe Bend in Arizona, isn't it? This is in fact, a virtual reality experience. Whoa. Yep, this is a virtual reality experience. You can even throw rocks off the side of the cliff and watch them fall all the way down. <laughs> Fortunately, you can't fall off, but this is freaking impressive. If you want to travel the world, then you can do it in VR and it's becoming more and more easy. And if you're not wearing headphones right now, you should be because there is so much to listen to. Hold on, let's go back by this river here for just a second, by the Colorado River. And just listen to this. You hear the wind? Look, there's a bird down there. Right over there, you can see him flying around. This is an amazing experience called Brink. And it actually puts you in these locations. It's, it's pretty unreal what it allows you to do and see in VR. We're going to explore some other locations here in just a second. But let me tell you right now, I'm using the PC VR version. I've played both Quest version and PC VR version. And I'm telling you right now, the reason I'm showing you PC VR is because I did not see a perceivable difference between the two. Ooh, we're leaving the optimized zone. There's an optimized section. You can go a little bit off the optimized path and then you'll hit into a red barrier that doesn't allow you to go any farther. There's the red barrier. But pretty freaking amazing, wouldn't you say? I just love that you, you can even hear the rocks bouncing off the ground. The, the coolest part about this though is the fact that you can actually look at points of interest in each place and you can pull them up and it'll tell you all about it. It's absolutely awesome and I have it off right now but there's actually a, a setting where this tour guide will give you information. They'll talk about these specific spots that you're seeing and they'll give you an overview. In fact, you have to find all three of them at each location. I believe there's three plus, you know what's really cool? You hold your hands like you're taking a photo, you could take an actual real-time photo of what's going on. And when you take a photo, look at that. Doesn't that look like a real place? When you take a photo, oops, let me just set it right here. You can hit this button, and it'll save it. And in order to get to that, you can go to here, into your book, and you can actually see them right here. Like there's the photos of the things that you find and these are the photos that you actually take and you can share them and post them to Facebook, download them, whatever you want and they look like they're real actual photos. Now, in order to get to new locations, you actually can push a little button here. Oh, also, you can switch it to nighttime. Look at this. Look at the stars. Isn't that beautiful? Holy crap, look at all the stars. Man alive. That is... Oh, there's a shooting star. Did you see that? This is just stunning. All right, hold on. Let's turn this back really quick. Now, this is only one location. Oops. You can actually go to a whole bunch of them. And they've got more coming soon. These two specific ones are coming soon on top of that. Most of these are in the United States, as you can see. See, that's the United States, U.S., U.S. Almost pretty much, I think, maybe all of them are actually in the U.S., except for... This Iceland one. Let's go to Iceland for a minute, and then we'll jump back to the U.S., because this one is pretty freaking impressive. This actually gives you an overview of the location. It even gives you the day of the month you were there, how fast the wind was, the temperature, all that stuff. Now let's head over to Iceland. Now listen to that. Look at the flowers swaying in the breeze right there. Grass all over the ground. This is freaking impressive. Look at the water falling down there. Look at the birds flying. Unbelievable. You've got a storm coming in over there. I can hear the water running down. Yeah, not just the crashing of the waterfalls, but you can actually hear the water running down through that river. If you listen hard enough. Look at the sky. This is just stunning. I'm never going to be able to visit Iceland. I can almost guarantee it. But now I can come and stand, look at the water running down over there. Come and stand here. Now there's artificial locomotion. You can physically walk around, which is actually what I'm doing right now. I'm physically walking around in my room. 
and you can actually artificially move. There's a smooth and snap turning, but I don't normally just physically turn around because it just feels more natural. There's a couple different settings you can change, like a setting that keeps you on level ground, or you can make it so that it goes up as you walk up onto rocks and over ground. But look at this. This is freaking ridiculous how beautiful this is. And this is just one of the many locations that you can take a look at. Look at the freaking detail on the ground. Unfreaking believable. Look at this. Like you can actually feel the scale of being down in here. Isn't this incredible? Look at the ground. You can see the dirt on the ground. You can almost feel the rock. And I kind of can feel the rock actually rubbing my hand on it because it's using haptic feedback as I rub my hand on it. Look at the sun shining through. Speaking of the sun shining through, I wonder what this looks like at night. It's going to be kind of creepy, I imagine. Wow, look. Ooh, crickets. You can hear the crickets. It's kind of dark down here at night. Kind of creepy, actually. Turn it back to daytime. You can see the dust particles in the air. The sun shining down through. And another cool thing I can tell you right now, watch this. You can find the locations, but some actually have more than one location to go to. So you can actually move to a different spot in this location. This one's a little more open. You can actually hear the rocks tinkling across the sides of the wall as they fall down, the dust moving. Unbelievable. Like, uh, it's just awe-inspiring to visit these locations. Look at this. I feel like I'm actually here. If I could feel sand underneath my toes right now and feel the heat from the sun, I would feel like I'm actually here. I could hear the rocks falling and everything. It's pretty freaking unbelievable. Let's check out another location, shall we? <laughs> now, look at this. We're on top of a craggy mountain. Grab some, uh, some stuff here, some rocks. Skip it down the mountain. Let's go over here for a second. Look, you can also interact with some other pieces here. I'm not really sure what this is. I'm pretty sure that there's a... One of the um, informational points that'll tell you what this is. Let's find out. Is this one? Is this it here? One of them does. I know that I did this. Ooh, dinosaur discoveries. Okay. Let's do that. And then, let me see here. Oop, I just dropped that. Oh, well. I know that there's one here somewhere. Is that it, maybe? No, that was not it. I know that there's one here. I did this on the quest. There it is, right there. There. Fulgarite, fulgurites. Natural tubes of crusts of glass that sometimes form when lightning discharges into the ground. Now, hopefully there's no lightning on the ground here. Or, I mean, hitting the ground here. That would be kind of crazy. Listen, look, there's a bird. Let's see if we can hear the lightning. Let's see if there is any. I don't hear any lightning, do you? I don't hear any lightning, but look at this. Look how it is. <laughs> this is incredible. You hear that? I hear the thunder over there. Lightning's coming. I better get out of here before the lightning strikes me. All right, here we are in Death Valley. Look at this place. You can literally see the texture of the ground, which is just ridiculous. Look at this mountain range. Sweeping mountain ranges on all sides. You can hear the wind whipping through. This would be an amazing place to see the sun or the stars. Let's check it out. Oh wow. Oh, there's the moon. Look. Wow. Look at that. You can see, like, looks like the whole galaxy. Man, alive. Unbelievable. This is beautiful. Now we've made our way to the Alabama Hills in California. Look at the sky. All the different cloud types. The clouds are actually moving over there. And the snowy mountain range is unbelievable. And look, this is what gets me in these. The attention to detail. Okay? There's birds flying around. You can hear the wind. But look at the grass swaying. That little teeny bit of grass there swaying. That just adds life <laughs> to this whole thing. 
unbelievable. It's just awe-inspiring. You can see a bird flying over there. Let's go, uh, there should be another location right there. Let's go to the Mobius Arch. We'll go travel down there. Ooh, wow, look at that. Look, there's a bird right there sitting on the rock. Hey, birdie. Hi, birdie. Cool. I wonder if I can go down there. Oh, fall down. <laughs> I left the uh, optimized area. I fell down the cliff. Ooh, the bird's not happy with me. Wow, look at this rock. What a weird rock. You're not happy with me, bird? You didn't want me to do that? Wow, look at that view. <laughs> if you can't travel, I tell you what, this is one heck of a way to do it. What's over here? Can I see down there? Yep. Man. As far as I can go. Let's see if I can get closer to that bird. Oh, jeez, falling off the rock. Let's get up here. I can see some sort of vehicle or something over there. Hey, birdie. Yeah, I know. You want to come down and play? Can I get up there? Can't climb up there. This isn't the climb. <laughs> Hiya there, birdie. Come land on my hand, will you? Come here. No? Okay. I don't have any fish or fries or anything to feed you. Sorry. I wonder if the bird will still be up there if we change it to nighttime. Oh, he's gone. Wow, look at that. Isn't that unbelievable? Isn't that just amazing? Shooting star over there. Wow. Like I said, this is called Brink. And it's mind-blowing how amazing everything looks in this game. I could just sit here for hours listening to the crickets, looking at the stars. Well, we've made our way over to Swirl Canyon as our last location on our amazing round the US slash world adventure. If you want to play this game or you want to check it out on PC VR or on Quest, then you can check out the link down in the description. And if you want to keep getting awesome VR videos, you can subscribe to the channel by hitting that subscribe button down there and the bell icon for notifications. Thank you so much for watching and enjoying this relaxing trip <laughs> through these amazing locations. Look at the sun up there. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching, and happy questing.